of the NBA. A colorful depiction of Sky Dance Bridge in the Big Friendly. We're here at OKC. Thanks, everyone, for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce, our reporter tonight. And here at the table, two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Chris Weber. Hey, Ali. Thanks, B.A. The Oklahoma City Thunder have been wheeling and dealing as of late in the 2020 offseason, an NBA record 11 trades with 15 other teams. More at the deadline, and yet again this offseason. The end result, a mountain of draft picks in the years to come. It'll come in handy, guys. Well, more picks than they can possibly use. So more trades ahead, you would think, Allie. Thank you. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, Take a look at these latest power rankings. You look at New Orleans, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. You know, for the Lakers, they're playing fantastic basketball right now. I know it's early in the year, but surprisingly, they may turn out to be the team to beat. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. Anthony is out there with LeBron James. And then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Nunn in a shooting guard. And for Oklahoma City, We've got Isaiah Roby. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Ty Jerome. Then there's Derek Favors, and it's Giddy in at the three. Here we go. And Chris, you were one of the few passing bigs in your day. Now it seems like we're seeing loads of frontcourt players also being playmakers. Well, first, B.A., thank you. And then give the coaches, the players, the system a shout-out because bigs can make these plays, too. And coaches understand that, and teammates understand that. And this led to a style of hoops we've seen. Floor spread, high energy, really fun to watch. Clock at four. Here's Westbrook. Count it. One for one to start the game. <laughs> they said he was done. Beautiful pass by Mello, spotting the open man. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the bucket is good. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. Westbrook outside. Back to James. And slam dunk by James. A great display of unselfishness. Westbrook is solid at realizing when one of his guys is over. Here's Jerome. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Take it away! Offensive rebound. Here's Giddy. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Davis with a rebound. Oh, you have to love the spin move there. But he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. Westbrook outside, down low, and stolen by Favors. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. James against Favors. They swipe it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. That puts him in the lead. Gilgis Alexander's got six. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. One thing I've also noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off turnovers. Here's James following the bucket by the Thunder. And that one's good. At the moment, James has the ball anywhere close to the hoop. It's over. Too much strength and touch. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Yeah, a living legend. LeBron James with more all-NBA selections than any player in history. And he's still going strong. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Really played well against Golden State in his last game. He didn't have his feet planted. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound, the Lakers. And LeBron in his mid-30s. He's not slowing down. Chris, it seems like he's getting better. Just think about it. Scoring, rebounding, and assisting at career-high rates. I mean, we know Father Time is undefeated, but LeBron's probably going with Father Time the longest round. Anthony misses. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by James for the finish. And he makes it. And James is great at staying alert on defense, pouncing on any opportunity he sees to swipe the ball. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Pass to Favors. Now Gilgis Alexander. Shot from 12, and he hits the jumper. Give him eight. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. And here's James. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Now here's Anthony. Back to James. Just five on the clock. And from the field, after that one, three for four now. Here's Jerome. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. James double-teamed. Right side, Davis. And stolen by Favors. Stolen by Davis. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Thunder. Looking at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Russell Westbrook on top. It was a virtuoso performance. They ran the offense through him time and time again. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Trailing by two. Pass to Roby. Here's Jerome. Here's Favors. And it's blocked by Davis. And you see how the Browns led the league in swats. <laughs> Not only the wingspan, but the awareness. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. And it's the Thunder with the ball. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Gilgis Alexander attacking. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. The Lakers have got six of eight shots to go. James passes to Davis. And stolen by Favors. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Pass to Roby. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Giddy. Sinks it from distance. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. The Lakers trail. Westbrook outside. Back to James. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. James has got eight. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Yes, the first of four meetings between the teams. They should be quite familiar with one another by the end of it. I look forward to seeing which team can dictate the style of play. I mean, that's going to set the tone for this entire series. The Thunder making a switch here. Baisley's checked in. On defense, the Lakers. Pass to Jerome. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Rondo, he's checked in for the Lakers. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. They trail by one. Here's Baisley. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Nice rim protection. And it's still not enough to keep him from getting the layup. The Lakers have gone seven of nine. A solid percentage so far. Outside none. 
Pass to Rondo. Here's Davis. Can't get it to drop. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. They just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. Now here's Anthony. An 11-point game for him and the win against the Spurs in San Antonio. Count it. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy. Rebound, Anthony Davis. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. And Anthony slams it in. You know, what's interesting about Carmelo is that, you know, he remade his body just a little bit. Quick to the hole right there. The Thunder shooting an impressive 47%. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 10. Pass to Roby. From the strike. Anthony grabs the board. Now Los Angeles with it. It's a three-point game. Coming into this, having Knox to win against San Antonio in their last game. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. This is a fellow who can fill it up. When Gilgis Alexander gets rolling, it throws the opponent's defensive plan into disarray. Here's Rondo. Outside none. Back to Rondo. Five on the clock. Pass to none. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And Davis lays it in. Davis has got six points. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is, and every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Some changes now for the Lakers. Jordan's checked in for Davis. Howard comes in for James, and Ariza subbed in for none. Pass to Maladon. Here's Deck. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Golden State. Here's Ariza. Rondo with it. Dort defending. Rondo with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Jordan. Second chance shot. And he lays it in. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 44% to start this ballgame. Here's Baisley, covered by Jordan. Dort with it. And that one comes up a bit short. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Anthony outside. Pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Here's Maladon. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Golden State. Rebound, the Lakers. No question who's in control of the board so far. Now Rondo. Over Dort. Rondo's shot is off. That's a shot he'd like back. 
he's usually going to make those. Outside, Williams. Pass to Baisley. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Anthony. And Darius Baisley with an interesting path to the NBA. He skipped college in 2019, did his own private workouts to prepare for the league. And you know, Grant, with Baisley's path to the league, initially wanted to go to the G League, but backed out of that. Yeah, a lot of twists and turns on his journey. More and more players now bypass college. Baisley took a risk, and it seems to have paid off for him. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. And so it's the Lakers with it. Leading by five. Pass to Jordan. Minute 32 left in the first quarter. And he converts the layup. Jordan's got six points. Not afraid at all to get physical. Jordan finds the shot. So essential for a big to be able to work through contact. Here's Baisley. Deck inside. He's against Howard. Deck can't hit. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Ariza. This one for three. Here's Howard. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by nine. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's Deck. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Anthony with it. Guarded now by Williams. Outside. Rondo. Pass to Ariza. Now Howard. Eight points in his last time out. Here's Anthony. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Baisley misses. Here's Ariza. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three to fall. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break up 12. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Well, he can be a one-man army, rebounding, scoring, and assisting. But Russell Westbrook knows he's got to rally those around him to win. We got to do it together. And uh, I think that's more important than scoring any points or doing anything else is, is leadership. And uh, that's where I got to find my, my niche and uh, try to lead the guys. Westbrook is all about winning, Grant. Yes, he is, and his teammates will tell you as well. For all the stats he piles up at the end of the day, he's laser-focused on getting the dub. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Los Angeles. They've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. Also, their aggressiveness in the first half tonight has allowed them to score more than a few points off penetration. We've got Teo Maladon. Kenrich Williams is out there with Gabriel Deck. Then there's Lou Dort and its favors in at the five down low. That's the lineup for Oklahoma City. 
And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Well, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. He throws good. Jordan and the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in a more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. And I did a pretty good job. Here's Horton Tucker. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Favors. Jordan against Dort. Some solid defense from Jordan. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. The drive by Westbrook. So we can usually count on Westbrook being among the NBA leaders in points off jobs. I mean, in control at any speed. The Thunder have got two of three shots to go in the second. Dort outside. Maladon. And they recover it. Got a piece of it. Back to Dort. Pass to Maladon. Tries yet again. Oh, tremendous reach on the block by Ariza. Making a real effort on defense. Now Howard. Williams defending. Let's it go from 11. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And the Lakers lead by 15. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pass to deck. Back to Maladon. It falls. He's now two of five from the field. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Right here, right here. Now Westbrook. Shoots over Maladon. And there's another one for the Lakers. Oh, a pretty comfortable mid-range shooter. You can't let Westbrook get in the groove from there. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Maladon, pounded by Westbrook. Outside for Dort. Just four to shoot. Unloads. Rebound, the Lakers. Jordan's got four rebounds now. The Lakers have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Westbrook outside to the middle. Uncovered. Again, the Lakers. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And so it's Oklahoma City with it, trailing by 17. And following this one, they hit the road to challenge the Warriors at Chase Center in San Francisco. It'll be the start of a three-game trip on the road. A different look for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Williams, and Jerome subbed in for Maladon. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Over to the wing. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got a rebound number five here tonight. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Hey, from beyond the arc. No good on the shot. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Dort up top. Checked by Davis. Dort outside. Pass to Jerome. Six on the shot clock. Nails it from three. 
Jerome's got himself on the board with a three there. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. James passes to Davis. And here's James. Give him eight points now. And the basket by Horton Tucker. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Favors. Outside Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. And the dunk by Favors. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. The Lakers have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Inside. Dort against Nunn. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kendrick Nunn. That's his first foul. Here's Jerome, pounded by Westbrook. Here's Giddy. None defends. Pass to Favors. Uh, what you love about A.D. defensively, the instincts, the ability to move his feet, and the timing of the shot contest. Well, as great as he is, Anthony Davis, his own toughest critic, is not enough to be a star. He wants to leave no stone unturned to be great. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there, I mean, make him earn it at the line. And Davis, a complete player, and yet... He's still improving, Chris. As a passer, a scorer, and defensively, there's always something new. for Westbrook. Well, if you want to nasty, look no further than Russell Westbrook. He fights for every shot he gets. He doesn't let anyone on the other team get in his way. And he makes both free throws. And Chris, when you think about the ferocity Westbrook plays with, his rebounding really comes to mind. You know, absolutely. I mean, at his size, Westbrook shouldn't be a force on the glass. But his intensity levels, the playing field, allowing him to beat out bigger guys to win possessions. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Offensive board. Pass to Horton Tucker. The Lakers with another miss. A difficult spot for Oklahoma City. Here's Giddy. Off the mark there with a three. Baisley, he's checked in four favors. Westbrook drawing the double and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Lakers have possession to the inside and Davis gets it to go on the assist from James James has got three assists in the game offensively it's been a struggle for him yeah they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance and the Thunder call time here and the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented the oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level Here's Baisley. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. Now here's Westbrook. 
Eight points in his last time out. And it's James with the jam. Yo, fellas, you know what? It's like a mini earthquake when, <laughs> when LeBron slams rocking with you. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And Westbrook draws the double. Hey, here's none for three. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got assist number seven tonight. They're having a hard time stopping this run. And B.A., you can't afford to keep coming up empty. And it's blocked by Davis. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. No, he's gone dead silent in this arena. What a fantastic performance here on the road. Here's Jerome. 13 points in the win against Golden State. And while he was doing that, I mean dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night for Sinatale. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, when they're needing to fight from behind. Pass to none. Launches a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You look at Gilgis Alexander and the way he plays. He has kind of that old man style to him. A lot of crafty moves and fakes in his book. And talking about Gilgis Alexander, this guy plays like a 10-year vet. I mean, he has great footwork to get to the paint. He uses those Euro steps and hesitations so well. I mean, he reminds me in some ways of a young Manu. That one's off. Some changes now for the Lakers. Anthony's checked in for Horton Tucker. And it's Rondo in for Russell Westbrook. And he's good on the second. And last season, a new entity, NBA Africa created to handle all business on the continent. Grant, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, B.A. First of all, the game of basketball growing all over the world, and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league, and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win, and I'm so excited. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound, the Lakers. He's lost his momentum in a big hurry. Coming off an excellent quarter, now he just can't find the bucket. Inside, James. And slam dunk by James. Oh, that's just awesome recognition from James. Love how he rolls with the purpose after setting the pick. The Thunder shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Gilgis Alexander against none. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Right side none. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers score. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Here's Jerome. Pass to Giddy. 
Outside Gilgis Alexander. Good on the shot. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now this quarter. Los Angeles has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Anthony outside. James with the ball. Baisley on him. Outside. Rondo. And here's Anthony. Just five to shoot. None. No good. A minute 50 left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Jerome. Here's Roby. And there's another one for the Thunder. 133 left in the second quarter. James with the ball. He's got 12. The three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Here's Jerome. And he drives in. Puts it up from 15. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Moving or shooting, Gilgis Alexander has such precision. Able to quickly lock in his shot. James passes to Davis. Back to James. Anthony with it. James outside. And up the court come the Thunder. On the break. Here's Baisley. It's blocked. And blocks like this can get Anthony going. I mean, I love seeing him use his reach out there to alter shots. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Maladon comes in for Jerome. Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. Howard comes in for James. Forty-three seconds left to play in the half. Uh, come on, you, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Now none. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Here's Maladon. None defends. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Five to shoot. Rebound, the Lakers. Jordan's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Rondo. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Lakers ahead. Running away with this one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot. And with Frank Vogel and coach, what's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Uh, just be us, okay? We got to go on the free throw line, keep him off the free throw line, make him make contested twos. We got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 12 points, four assists, and one steal. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Down in the paint, they're doing everything right, seeking out high percentage looks, so far, the defense hasn't had any answer for that. And we'll see if those adjustments that the coaches are making at halftime. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. Their effort on the board has been horrendous. That's a good way to get blown out. Only way they can turn this thing around is to start winning the rebound the battle, win the battle of possession. Otherwise, they're my favorite. Avocado toast. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. 
through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And so in the game for Los Angeles, we've got Carmelo Anthony. Anthony Davis is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's none in at the two. From behind the arc, he buries it from three. Nunn's got his third bucket of the night. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. None against Gilgis Alexander. Out to the right wing. Let's the three fly. Oh, James is a tough defender. He uses his body well. He stays with this man and makes life difficult on him. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Free throw drops for Anthony. Well, you know, offensively, the style of Anthony's game, I mean, it just ages well like fine wine. I mean, he can go old school, back to the basket. He can stretch you out, and he's clutch. And Anthony drops them both. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy. He's guarded by Anthony. Pass to Jerome. Let's go with a three. Drills it from deep. Jerome's got six points. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Anthony outside. None against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Westbrook. James passes to none. Down to five on the shot clock. Now Davis over Favors, and Davis gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. He's got 14. Oh, this isn't fair. Everything is going AD's way. He's in the zone and scoring at a terrific pace. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by James. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That'll be a second foul of the game. Oklahoma City has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. There's the drive. Stolen by Davis. And here's Westbrook. He's got 10. The shot. And it's Giddy with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten only one of four. Second half. Here's Jerome. Hounded by Westbrook. Roby can't hit. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. Here's James. And he banks in the layup. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. Oh. 
Oklahoma City has gone three of six from deep so far. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Pass to Jerome. Here's Favors. Second shot opportunity. Can't cash it in from close range. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. And so the ball out of bounds. Gilgis Alexander touched it last. For the Thunder, Deck comes in for Roby. And it's Dort in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Ariza's checked in for the Lakers. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. James, from the right block, the shot is good. James has got 16 points. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. Westbrook right side. Puts up a three. James, that's good. James has got six in the quarter. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for none. And here are the Thunder now. Favors finds Dort. Here's Jerome, pounded by Westbrook. Here's Jerome. He has six. Shot clock at six. Takes a three. The Lakers with a rebound. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13-5 run. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Jerome. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his fifth foul. And that's number five on him. No room for error anymore. I bet they'll take it at him right now. They, they try to get him out the game. Maladone's checked in for Oklahoma City. And the Lakers also making a change. Rondo's checked in. Lakers on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Rondo on the double team, down low. Pass to Giddy. Dort with it. Shot clock at five. That puts them over the foul limit with plenty of time left. They have to be careful now. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Their transition game, it's been clicking today. You can see why they push the ball every chance they get. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. First free throw is good. I mean, Favors is a quick, athletic big man. He can get to the line, but he continues to work on his ability to convert while there. And the Thunder making a change here. Williams is checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Howard's checked in for James. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. So it's the Lakers now. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one, and that'll launch a four-game homestand for them. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside Davis. To the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up from 15. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Favors. 
Now here's Dort. Checked by Rondo. It's deflected. And he recovers it. The offensive rebound. The Lakers have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Here's Ariza. Pass to Rondo. Takes the three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' speed. Rondo. He's gotten his second bucket on the night. Oklahoma City has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Maladon, no good. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Davis. Here's Ariza. Here's Horton Tucker. Dort defending. Back to Rondo. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Rondo. He's got five points in the quarter. Rondo on the double team. Here's Maladon. Tries to break his ice. And it's blocked by Davis. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Baisley, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. The Lakers also with a sub. Jordan's checked in for Davis. Pass to Maladon. Here's Baisley. Six to shoot. 4-3. Ariza pulls down the board. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Here's Horton Tucker. Goes up at the elbow. They get it again. Howard. Uses the glass on the layup. Howard's got six. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Deck. Pass to Baisley. Here's Maladon. And there's a three-second violation. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. Yeah, you got to be locked in at all times. Their inconsistent play is a big reason why they're losing. Los Angeles has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Now here's Rondo. Give him eight. Pass to Jordan. The Thunder with the rebound. So Dort's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Maladon for three. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got eight rebounds in the game. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Here's Horton Tucker. Here's Ariza. Three-pointer. And another three for the Lakers. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. Oklahoma City has gone one of six from three-point range here in the third. Not the result they're looking for. A shot to stop the run. Ooh, Howard with a block. You got to be aware of Howard at all times, especially on defense where he makes his living blocking shots. And the Thunder making a change here. Muscala's checked in. Pass to Baisley. Here's Maladon. Checked by Rondo. And here's Muscala. Four on the clock. He drops it from range. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Howard with the ball. He has six. Back to Rondo. Pass to Howard. Now here's Rondo. He's covered closely. Here's Ariza. Yeah. 
Second chance effort. And it's good on the lay-in. Ariza's gotten his second bucket of the game. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Thunder shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Yeah, I think all the way back to when Howard was drafted number one overall. One of the toughest and smartest decisions we've seen from any front office. Here's Maladon, guarded by Howard. Here's Dort. Hits the front of the rim and out. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. And Chris, after everything he went through, it was great to see him finally win his first ring in 2020. And B.A., that was one of the things he hadn't accomplished. Individually, he had done everything else. Makes sense now that he only wants to play on championship contenders. Minute 32 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. Pass to Rondo. Now here's Jordan. Good, and it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Jordan's got 11 points. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Dort, the pass to Mascala. 52 seconds left in the third. Pass to Dort. Fires for three. And they get it back. Here's Muscala. And Muscala with the slam. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roam that freely on the glass. Here's Rondo. Here's Howard. Pass to Rondo. Here's Horton Tucker. Drains the triple. Seven points in the game. Talk about an advanced distributor. I mean, there's passes that point guards can make, and there's passes that Rajon Rondo can make. Here's Maladon. Looking to get it going. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Fifteen seconds left in the third quarter. Williams finds Gilgis Alexander. Here's Baisley. The Thunder with another miss. Now Rondo. Up in time. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's Los Angeles making this game a no contest. They poured it on early, and they've never let up. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Our closer is our tempo. Intelligent tempo. Let's still run. One, two, three. And that's Frank Vogel asking his guys to dictate the pace and ramp it up a little bit. Yeah, he wants them to push the action, but be really smart about how they do it. Aggressive, yes. Careless, no. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Isaiah Roby out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then it's Kenrich Williams. And it's Mann in at the one. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Well, write this down, BA. So my mom is from New Orleans. So I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> Clock at six. 
Fires at the elbow, and Pakusevsky gets it to go. Well, I think he's looking around wondering where the D is. I mean, nowhere near him, that's for sure. The Lakers shooting an amazing 61%, looking confident. It's Monk on the wing. Pass to Jordan. Here's Ellington. Here's Monk. Goes back up. And it's Anthony with a bucket inside. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Drains it from nine feet away. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 points in the game. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Oh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. On target from range. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Pakusevsky. Well, over the last few years, the NBA has worked to make the schedule more manageable, Chris. That includes fewer back-to-backs. Yeah, and, and for us fans, uh, that's been a great adjustment. You know, those back-to-backs, uh, you know, it could be a struggle at times. And we want to make sure the players are there, especially on the road, so that the fans can come see. A good sign for them is the work they've done on the offensive glass this half. The Lakers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Anthony. Eleven feet out. The Thunder with the rebound. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Here's Man. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Anthony. From the arc. He got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Jordan with it. Working on Roby. Here's Bazemore. Jordan, the pass to Anthony. They shoot again! Jordan finds Anthony. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. Coming out of the half, making a commitment to the offensive boards has proven successful. The Thunder have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. And we're seeing a bunch of top high school prospects go pro now, Chris. Do you think that'll hurt the college game? Well, if it's just the five-star athletes, no. Uh, because they're one and done probably anyway. Uh, but I, if I'm a uh, college, I, I would hope that the pro leagues uh, don't expand and need more. Because if it did, it could cause a major shift. Favors checked in for Oklahoma City. Deck comes in for Williams. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. To the middle. And the dunk by Favors. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Here's Ellington. Pass to Jordan. Oh, Favors with a block. Denied by Favors. Normally a guy in the top 20 range of the league in swats. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Pass to Pakusevsky. Here's Mann. Monk covers. To the paint. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. I love when guys are alert and aware on the great job to prevent the entry pass. Outside Monk from about 16. The rebound by Favors. Favors has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Deck. Oh, rejected by Jordan. 
And here's Monk. It's Bazemore on the wing. From outside the arc. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Thunder have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Pass to Favors. Here's Mann. Favors in the post. Here's Pokazewski. Monk covers. Five on the clock. That shot off the mark. And Los Angeles the other way now. Baseline try. And that one drops for him. Changing ends quickly. Scoring before the defense can set up. They've been doing it all game. Yeah, when you're executing at this rate, you feel like no one can slow you down. Here's Mann. Pass to Pakusevsky. Here's Deck. And Bazemore pulls it down. That's a nice defensive effort. Sticking right up on him. I mean, affecting the shot. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. Here's Mann. Monk covers. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession here. For the Thunder, Muscala, he's checked in for favors. And Jerome subbed in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And the Lakers also making a change. Ariza's checked in. Here's Mann. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. Monk into the lane. Pass to James. Yep, that one goes. Oh, come on. We all know LeBron is used to getting fouled, but it's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. strong at the line since the break for Oklahoma City they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth here's Jerome James with the block oh what a swap by LeBron working hard to be all over the street Arisa and there's a whistle he'll head to the line to shoot two and Grant you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach how has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. And he makes a first. And during Ariza's career, he has established himself as an effective role player and fantastic outside shooter and a tenacious defender. Both good from the line that time. Here's Mann. Pass to Muscala. Here's Jerome. Oh, no good. Unable to end this run. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Ellington. Back to James. They get it back. Tries again. Oh, Riza, good. Ariza's got 10 points here in the second half. It's clear to me. Is it clear to you that Ariza feels at home in the post? I mean, just working his way inside and nailing these quality shots. 
Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Rejected by James. Left side Monk to the middle. Pass to Ariza. Here we go, one on one. Here's Pokashevsky. Rebound, the Lakers. Ariza's got five rebounds in the game. Well, Chris, the max salaries can now reach as much as $50 million a year. Now, we don't want to count other people's money, but those are some pretty good checks. Oh, yeah, and I'm not hating on it because the more successful the league is, the more entertained fans like myself are going to be. Uh, $50 million a season? Kudos. And Oklahoma City shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Pass to Muscala. There's the three. That one is off. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Ellington. James outside. Inside. And slam dunk by Jordan. You can't forget about how great a passer James is. After he gets a pick, remarkable at moving it quickly to his teammates. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Back to man. Pass to Muscala. Here's Jerome. Now here's Muscala, covered by Jordan. Back to Jerome. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Uh, look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep your offense balanced. Here's Ellington. Monk for three. It's hauled in by Pokasevsky. And for the Thunder, they're shooting the ball at only 35% here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Deck. The three is up. Rebound, the Lakers. Ariza's got six rebounds here tonight. James, outside. Oh, he picked him clean. Here's Mann. Here's Deck. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Maladon's checked in for Jerome. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. Orton Tucker comes in for LeBron. Lakers on D, and there it is for him. The inbound play works to perfection. You gotta love to get those quick hitters. Here's Ellington. Pass to Monk. Here's Ariza. Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And, of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Maladon, no good. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Here's Horton Tucker to the inside. Howard. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for LeBron James. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up tempo or slowing it down, but always scoring.
And the first one at the line is good. And Grant, in 2015, you became part owner of the Atlanta Hawks. How pleased were you to see their performance in last year's playoffs? Well, it was incredible. So much fun to see this team come together, rally, and have an incredible run in this past postseason. Now, as a broadcaster, you don't want to have a rooting interest, but I'll confess, it was definitely special to see. He's perfect from the line this time. And the Thunder in possession here. Here's Maladon. Looking to get back on track. Ooh, Howard with a block. Pass to Ellington. From 15 feet away. And the jumper is on the mark. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Muscala gets it to go. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Outside Monk. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Bazemore. Let's it fly from 18. Outside Monk. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with A.D., and tonight you guys seem locked in. What was the key? So we came out aggressive defensively and offensively, and against a team like that, you know, you got to come out aggressive defensively first, and I think we did that through the whole 48. Okay, great defense so often leads to great offense, and it worked tonight. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. So long, everyone.